you know, what Vladimir Putin said today is that uh, it's possible that some Russian patriotically minded hackers uh, got on the internet and decided to hack the, the DNC during the 2016 election campaign. Они проснулись сегодня, прочитали, что там что-то происходит в межгосударственных отношениях. Если они настроены патриотически, они начинают вносить свою лепту, как они считают правильную в борьбу с теми, кто как бы плохо отзывается о России. Ну и возможно, это теоретически возможно на государственном уровне. Мы никогда этим не занимаемся. Yeah, it's an interesting statement because earlier Vladimir Putin had said that in general, he believed that the hack in the United States was perhaps invented, perhaps it hadn't happened at all. And what he's saying now is actually quite different and a little bit of a concession. What he's saying is that if there is evidence that comes out that shows that the hack is linked back to Russians, uh, people who are either based in Russia or who have uh, Russian roots, uh, that that might exist, but that doesn't mean that the Russian government was behind it as well. So he's kind of preparing himself for the possibility that that evidence is going to emerge. You know, I think that the investigations are likely going to be based more off of evidence. Uh, Vladimir Putin says a lot of things, uh, and he very much tries to stay in the news. Uh, and there is a sense that uh, he is trolling the United States a little bit here. These comments are a little bit of an echo of what Donald Trump said when he said that the hackers might be, you know, a 400-pound man who just woke up and decided to do it. What Putin said was that hackers are like artists. They wake up in the morning and decide, maybe I'll hack the DNC today. So I don't think that they're really going to have a lot of effect on an investigation, uh, but they might spur people on to sort of suspect that Russia is behind it. This idea of plausible deniability and the way that the Russian government can do this, uh, it just smacks of the sort of same explanation that Russia used during the Ukrainian conflict. When Russians were discovered, uh, either those who had been killed or Russian servicemen who had been captured in Ukraine, the argument that the Russian government made was that these are sort of independent, free people who can make a decision to do whatever they want. We can't stop patriotic Russians from going to Ukraine and carrying out certain actions. Uh, but at least on the government level, it's not us. So this is basically the same explanation that they used for the Ukrainian conflict, but now we're talking about the American presidential elections.